iPhone 4, iPod Mini, iPod Touch 2nd Generation, iPod Nano 1st Generation, iPod Classic 3rd Generation. What do all these things have in common? Well, they're actual Apple products. And this thing has something in common with this, as it's an Apple product, except it's a fake version of a real Apple product. 7th Gen iPod Nano, 7th Gen iPod Nano, except not. This is a real 7th Gen Nano, it has a sticker on it. I got it in a lot of iPods that were the ones I wasn't supposed to receive. At any rate, this thing was once worth $49.99. It's now mine. This thing, not near worth that. I paid $16.19 for this fake iPod Nano. Brand new, with only some slight damage to this thing for some reason. This lady is, uh, probably... Like, is this photoshopped on her band? It's the same color as the real one I had, which is partly why I bought it. Eclipse just seems to be a knockoff company because this is a 6th generation iPod Nano, except it's fake. Made by Eclipse, the same company. I made a video about it already. This thing here is probably equally as terrible. It has 4 gigabytes of storage and is a video player. This thing was as well. Video functionality right there. More like 3 FPS of video, then it freezes after about 10 seconds. It's pretty terrible. So this thing here, probably going to be about the same. I'm pretty sure the Nano 7th generation is the thinnest device Apple has ever ever made to date and they're probably not going to make a thinner one with a touch screen anytime soon because there's no push for that anymore this thing though by the looks of the packaging it's thick some people prefer thickness but i like to stay away from mcdonald's and other unhealthy food anyway let's just give it an open right here for the very first time ever breaking the seal on our piece of garbage why is this all all bent up straight out of the package was this thing resealed or some such what do we got here guys is, is our device gonna fall out you know we gotta get our manual all good and oh watch how to videos at eclipse mp3.com slash support that url redirects to an entirely different website a support page for j lab which must be what this company turned into terrible stock photos and gamer girls oh so this thing is micro usb cable oh stop don't return to the retailer i think i tried calling their number back in the other video and it didn't work oh my god this thing is huge compared to the nano 7th gen it's even got i doubt this thing has bluetooth but you see the real one that has that? This thing is for the Bluetooth antenna right here. I know, because I took one apart and broke a Bluetooth antenna. All right. The, oh, God. What is this Minecraft chest doing on this? What is, what is this? This is a button, a home button. It's not round, and it's also crooked. How much does this thing weigh? You know, we got to take it out. All of the weight, you see. It's, it, you know, something to feel premium. I think it has to have evenly distributed weight relatively. You know, you don't pick up an iPhone, and it's not 10 times heavier on the top side of it. This thing, all of the weight is right here and if you drop it it'll go face down every time see i'll drop it from here and it'll like rotate you see that oh look at how different the thin thickness is on this and, and also they were too cheap to you know do all the coloring for the apple one here let's get this 49 dollars tag off Ooh, revealing the ipod logo for the first time this thing is rather scratched up the screen does stick out a little bit and that's by design because it's just so thin of a device they couldn't fit it in there this thing right here has recessed bezels micro usb port this thing has lightning so of course it has a plastic shell same with pretty much all the mp3 players you know apple it's got all metal this thing is a nice hard rubber plastic so like premium quality let's get a good peel on this oh my goodness you can tell how much better the real one is just by looking at the screen of the fake one. What is this, like, weird, gl like, glossy texture that it has? The iPod Nano is pretty much the thickness of a headphone jack. This thing, nah. We've got our scale, and I'm going to show you just how th light this thing is for its size. About 50 grams, let's just say. This thing right here, what do we got? Let's just say 30 grams. There's a difference. Two of these tiny little devices this one's empty the two of them would be this was would be heavier than this this thing is just light made cheaply and they obviously couldn't engineer something as small as the real one so they just chonked whatever guts they had and made it into the same visual so does it work got a micro usb cable not the included one you know because i have so many of these things already all right oh eclipse instantly cool oh it's multicolor. charge and what what is your problem what, what i didn't even get a chance to read what it said what is it doing now did i already scratch the screen i barely even put pressure look at that 
That damages the screen. And this is an iFixit spudger. This is the most gentle possible thing. Stylus. You know, this is the type of touchscreen that needs a stylus. And this is the material styluses are made out of. That damages the screen. Not... Cool. Hey, look, I etched not cool into the screen, and I was not pressing hard. See, I didn't do that on purpose. I was being gentle. I like to wait till later in the video to destroy something if I'm going to destroy it. I wasn't planning on destroying this. Why is it on a white screen? Now it's on a black screen. No, now it's booting up. Charge, charge and play. Yeah, I want to... No! Is that what it's saying? Is that saying that... There's an option to only charge it, and then I have to actually select charge and use the device? Or can I not use the device when it's charging? What? Because, see, when it's charging, not, I press the buttons, all these buttons, it only does this. Tap the screen, it only does that. Unplug it and plug it back in. Seriously, seriously, I'd have to get the manual out. I, I just don't see what the problem is. Load it using iTunes or Windows Media Player. Is it only telling you how to put put stuff on it. Oh, read the user manual online? I don't even think this user manual place exists anymore because I just went to that website earlier in the video. Well, that's not useful. I was making fun of this for how bad it is, but at least you can use it. The screen definitely doesn't destroy this easily. Let's see, take that thing off. I'm doing the exact same pressure motions and that thing was not, not scratched. This fake product right here is less terrible than this fake product. Unplug. Plug back in. See if I can be really fast. Once it turns on, I gotta tap that message really fast. Charge and play. Yeah, so confirmed. You have to be really fast with the two second window when this thing turns on to tap the charge and play button to even be able to use it when charging. That's pretty bad. It's also quite slow. The response time is terrible. That's especially bad because this thing definitely has a bad battery in it, so it doesn't even work. That not cool just etched into the screen now. The zero effort that took. This, this is some terrible plastic. Welcome text. Welcome. To see the demonstration on the text reader. How do I scroll? Do I do that? Oh, like that. Okay. It's actually not that terrible. The wording here just cracks me up. Whether you're an experienced tech user or first time media player buyer, we provide our own technical support for um right here in United States. Anyway, it's just ranting on about how great they are and oh look at our company is so cool. Wow. And now the screen has all these scratches of it for me using a stylus. Now want me to get a real stylus? This thing. Right here. It's from the year 2001, September 2001. This is the stylus. Nice hard plastic. This, see, this is an iFixit tool that I'm using as a stylus. It works just fine. It would work for this just fine. It's made of a softer plastic than this. And that's because it's designed to break before your tools do. Not sponsored. I'm just saying what it is. In other words, it's designed to not damage things. And it did. Not its fault. It's this thing's fault for being terrible. Oh, so there should be a notepad on here somewhere. Yep, notepad. I'm showing you that I can draw on this thing, right? This right here, no scratches. It's not going to scratch it. This is the thing that scratched this screen. Oh, look, it's making it worse. I could do that exact same thing on this. And let's scroll down. Oh, yes, no scratches, just my fingerprints. So, yeah, terrible. Let's turn this thing back on. Did it forget that it was on? Okay. Scratched up screen that it has now. Here, let's use the Palm Stylus. It has how to load music on it, .avi. That, I think that's what they had on the other device. Oh, we can use it in, in horizontal mode. Oh, this is the exact same video that was on this device. The exact same one. Does it have speakers in it? Turn the volume up. No speakers. Oh, and look at the frame rates. Look at that. It's terrible. They're not doing very much camera movement. Already, the video player functionality is a lot better than on the other Nano. Or should I say, not iPod Nano. Home button. Alright, do I have any photos built in here? Directory list. Man, it doesn't go to a photos app. You have to, like, browse the directory list. Oh, ooh, yes, photos. These are built-in photos, by the way. This was not pre-owned, so these are all built-in. Okay, we got some singers for some reason. Is, is there preloaded music on here of these people? Music. iPod UI is way better, and keep in mind that this thing right here that I'm saying is way better. It's the first-generation iPod Nano, and this thing is copying the seventh-generation iPod Nano, which is the last iPod Nano. Ebooks doesn't have books on it. Imagine reading on this. Satisfied with your purchase of Match Speed Media Player. What? That's not what this thing is. Of course this device would have thank you for buying this product that isn't even the product it's it's talking about. All right, since I can't play music that's on it, we got to put some on it. It's royalty free. All right, so we're in the OS. Get the screen to turn on. Okay, does it die instantly? Yes. Plug it in. I hate micro USB. Turns on. Oh yeah, we got to be really quick. Use it. 
power and data. And that's another option. Oh, it shows up and it has a name. What is its name? Touch Pro 24. Oh, date modified 2014. So this thing is 10 years old, probably. All the photos that are on it, these are all built in. 3.75 gigs available. Let's fill that up with some song. Drop them in the music. Oh, data transfer speeds are slow. And I'm sure the limitation isn't this 17 year old MacBook I'm using. I'm sure it's this piece of crap MP3 player. Now, Let's just forcibly eject our device. These scratches are just so bothersome. You see it from all angles and it's just so horrible. And just from using it. See, what is that UI looking like? Nice and crooked buttons. That's an interesting choice. See, it's trying to be fancy and this device is so laggy that right there it just can't keep up with the music. Either that or it's just several frames per second. It doesn't have Bluetooth. It would have been all plastered over the box if it had Bluetooth. So it has that place for the antenna and there's no antenna. Now it should be playing. Oh, that's loud. I'm pressing the volume down button, and it's not turning the volume down. The screen isn't on either. Press home button, off button. My ears are, oh, there it goes. Oh, now there it goes. Takes like 30 seconds for it to realize that it's tr you're trying to use it. Oh, no, so it's not a middle button. It clicks, but it just clicks either the up or down, either one. Oh, come on. They couldn't have at least included a middle pause button. A and there's room for it. See that? That's huge. There's room for it. Oh, yes. Dude. But why should I expect anything of decency? So yes, it does play songs, but any old junk MP3 player can do that. So the fake Nano 7th generation, terrible as expected. It's actually more like the thickness of an iPod mini. I mean, not, not quite, iPod mini is really thick, but it's more to the form factor of an iPod mini than an iPod Nano, apart from the touchscreen. But then again, this thing doesn't have a touchscreen and it's a thousand times better. That's it for this one. Sorry I missed a week of uploading. I gave myself some time to get ahead of my videos. But now we continue with the weekly uploads every Saturday. Since that's my PO Box, if you have anything you want me to make a video about, or if you want to contribute to my videos directly, you can become a supporter. My supporters really help me make the videos better by being able to buy more stuff like this. And every week I decided that I'm going to do an extra video for the supporters. We're looking at a... Sylvania MP3 player this week. It was old, but brand new and faulty. So it was a fun video out for the supporters now. See you guys next week for another video.